Hakla Airport is located at an elevation of 2,846 meter, or 9,337 feet. The runway is 527 meter, or 1,792 feet long, by 30 meter, or 98 feet width, with a parking capacity of four aircraft. During takeoff, there is a 2,000 feet sheer drop at the end of the runway. During landing, there is a high terrain immediately at the end of a runway. It has a high gradient of 11.7%. We landed at the helipad field that accommodate two helicopter for refueling only. This is our second landing at Lukla Airport for refueling before heading back to Kathmandu. While landing, there is an aircraft that is about to take off. Ten minutes after the refueling, as we about to take off, another helicopter was about to land. Two to three minutes during takeoff, our heli turned left to make way for another incoming helicopter. It was at about noon. We were not allowed to leave the heli because it is just a short stopover. Because of all these factors as well as pockets of cloud, surrounding mountain ranges, and thin air, no wonder it has been mentioned that Lukla Airport is one of the most dangerous airport in the world. I was informed that there is also no instrument landing system. Due to the sheer distance as well as weight factor, there are two landings at Lukla Airport. When we reach Lukla Airport from Kathmandu, and again after the Everest tour, it will stop for refueling before it head back to Kathmandu. It takes 30 to 40 minutes to fly from Lukla to Kathmandu, a distance of 138 kilometers, or 86 miles. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, so that I can continue making more video contents like this. Some facts. The number of visitors to Everest Base Camp Trek and Tours are about 35,000 each year. Annually, about 1,000 people, including Sherpa and porters, attempt Everest Summit but roughly 50% succeed to stand the top of highest peak of Mount Everest. A permit is required to climb Mount Everest. Peak season is in May. They say the tip, or the highest point of Mount Everest is on a very large snow cornice no rock. Therefore, you need to touch the tip of the peak which is, touch the actual top. Don't take my words on this. I have never reached the top.